Hi everyone, today we are going to create a beautiful environment in Unreal Engine. I'll walk you through the process setup by setup, so be sure to stick around till the end. Let's get started. So we are going to start off by creating a new blank project without any starter content. I'm going to name it tutorial and you can change the location from here. Click on create. After creating a project, go to file, new level and create in basic level. Now hold Ctrl S to save the map and I'm going to name it main and click on save now after saving it go to edit project settings and map and modes and change the open world to main and close the tape so we are going to start off by creating a landscape so go to landscape from here click on landscape and change the size from 63 to 31 and also enable the edit layers and click on create now after creating the landscape now we need to sculpt the landscape just go to landscape and select the sculpt brush and you can increase or decrease the strength from here and also brush size and brush fall off I'm gonna increase the size now also decrease the fall off and increase the strength little bit. If you need to sculpt down you can hold shift and sculpt it. I'm gonna undo this. Just sculpt like that and also make a path from here by holding the shift and something like that. Don't sculpt too much, just a little bit. I'm gonna decrease the strength. Now I can sculpt. Now select the smooth tool from here and also smooth this area. You can smooth this area like this. Now I'm gonna select the sculpt tool also. Now after the sculpt is done, now we need to import the 3D models. You can download the 3D models from the link in the description. Now you need to download both of the 3D models. Extract the wooden cabin model like that. Open the Unreal Engine on the content browser. And open the content browser by pressing Ctrl plus space. Create a new folder right here. The models. And also drag and drop this windmill. And click on import animations also and create new materials and also we have to import this skeleton mesh click on import all close this tab open the content browser again now we can see the windmill 3d model here let's just select this one and also this one and drag and drop this into our scene place this model right here and scale it something like that that looks good enough now let's just import the second model this one wooden cabin go to source 
and open the content browser create a new folder name this uh, cabin and drag and drop this model right here everything is looking good just click on import all control space now you can see the cabin model right here now when you import this model you're gonna see that all the parts are separated we don't need to combine those just select all the parts and drag and drop right here now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select all of the separated part of this cabin from here just select the first one and go to the last one and by holding shift click on this one and by pressing ctrl G you can create a group and also you can create a group from here now let's just scale it something like that Now for the textures, go to content browser and here is the generic map texture. Double click to open it. Just drag and drop this tape right here and delete this parameter. Go to the source file. Now we can import the texture from here. Let's just select all of these textures and also open the content browser right here. I'm gonna create a new folder name it textures and drag and drop all of these textures right here now let's just select all of these textures and drag and drop here you can see this one is the ambient occlusion this one is metallic and normal and albedo let's just plug those textures like that this one is ambient occlusion after that click on apply now you can see the texture has been applied to our cabin now i'm gonna import the assets and the material for our landscape i'm gonna use the quixel bridge i have already downloaded the assets you can also download those from here i'm just gonna import them into unreal engine you can also download and import the assets of your choice Now for the landscape material, I'm using this grassy soil. You can also download this from Quixel Bridge. I'm just gonna import this one too. You can navigate to the 3D assets from here. Go to Mega Scan. Like that. Now I'm gonna select this filter static mesh here. If you don't see those filters from here, you can also enable those by from here. By clicking on those three lines. Now before placing the assets in the random places, we need to apply a material to our landscape. For that, select the landscape and navigate to the landscape material right here. And also open the content browser and in the surfaces, select this material instance. And click on this arrow right here. Now you can see the tiling of this material is really bad. To fix that, double click on this landscape material right here and in the tiling offset click on this expand this tab right here and decrease the tiling value something like that and copy and paste right here just save it now you can see that it looks better than before i'm just gonna sculpt it little bit right here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place all the assets in the random places. You don't need to follow each setup. This is completely artistic choice. You can place any assets where you want.
After placing the assets, let's just decrease the brightness of the landscape. To do that, go to the material and click on this albedo map and right here you can decrease and increase the brightness. I'm gonna make it like something 0 0.7 and also increase the vibrance and also saturation something like that decrease a little bit more yeah that looks great I think just click on save and close this now let's just import some more assets from Quixel bridge here you need to download this one modular wooden fence I'm gonna import this one from here and also this one Japanese shrine stairs add this to our project now let's just start placing those assets into our scene Now let's add foliage to our scene. Now for the foliage, I'm using this uh, ribbon grass. Let's just import those. Also this one right here. And I'm also using those flowers. Now what we can do is go to foliage mode. And first let's just activate the grass by clicking here and click on activate right here. Let's just check this. Now to increase the scale, increase from here, something like that. Decrease the intensity a little bit, something like that. Yeah. And start painting the grass like that. Now after that, deselect the grass and select those and activate it put the scale like 20 to 25 yep and decrease the density like 5 and let's just start painting Now deactivate these plants and enable the flowers right here like this. You can select the first one and by holding shift select the last one and by holding shift press right here and tick all the check boxes something like that. Now let's just start painting those. Now we are gonna import these stones pack right here, a mossy stone packs. 
download it and import this into our Unreal Engine. Now instead of these plants, we are going to select those rocks. If you don't see the rocks and some plants right here, you just need to drag and drop those into our foliage. First, let's just select those rocks right here and drag and drop right here like this. Select those rocks. Increase the scale a little bit, something like that. Yeah, that looks great. Let's just increase the size and decrease the pen density. Select these and increase the scale something like 7 to 9. Now we are gonna final our lightning setup. Let's just hold Ctrl L and drag the mouse like that. Something like that. I think that looks great. Now let's add post process volume. Go to plus icon right here and type post process like that. Add this to our scene. Now by selecting this, search right here, infinite and tick this box right here. Now adjust some settings right here. If you want to add bloom, you can also add bloom right here. And also, now we also gonna change this exposure right here. Enable this box and click on manual and also enable this box and increase the intensity from here something like 9 yeah that looks great I think now what we can do is select the directional light and increase the intensity of this 60 yeah that looks great now let's just select the post process volume again and scroll down let's add vignette something like that and also sharpen now we're gonna do some color grading here check this saturation box and change this to 1.4 Or maybe 1.3 yeah, that looks good also change the shadow saturation 1.2 maybe and also mid tones 1.1 we can also add motion blur like 0.2 and target FPS would be 24 now we are going to add some background mountains and also the water to our scene. Now to add water in Unreal Engine you need to enable the water plugin first. Now go to edit, plugins, type water and enable both of these plugin and restart the engine like that and also save everything. Now we can add water from here. Just go right here and type water now you can see all the water classes right here now we are gonna add this water body ocean just type water and drag and drop this water body ocean like that now after adding the ocean let's just 
put it right here now after adding the ocean you can see this ocean affecting the landscape so we need to disable it now by selecting the ocean body right here we can go into detail panels and disable this landscape effect by clicking on this now you can see our landscape is looking good now the ocean is done now we need to add background mountains for that you need to download the mountains from epic game those are completely free you can also download those now in the epic game marketplace search background mountains and click on this free filter right here now here you can see free landscape background mountains and download those and import to our project i have already downloaded it so i'm just gonna add them to our project like that select any version you want just click on add to project now after importing the background mountains let's just go to content browser photo real backgrounds right here and click on static mesh like that now here you can see all of these background mountains now you can add whatever you like if you want to increase the thumbnail size you can also increase from here by clicking on settings thumbnail size and from here i'm gonna select the large one and now i'm just gonna drag and drop those to our scene something like that Now one thing that you can see is that our foliage is completely static. Now to animate it go to content browser and remove this filter like that. Go to mega scan. Open this one. Now open the material instance of these flowers by double clicking on it. Now here in the search bar search wind and enable the grass wind and also check this box right here and now you can also increase or decrease the wind intensity from here yeah that looks great i think click on save and close this tab we can also do the same for the grass now after animating the foliage what we gonna do is go to foliage mode and deselect everything and open the content browser in the photo real background select the static mesh and you can see this billboard we're gonna select this tree billboard and drag and drop right here and select this decrease the intensity something like five and also yeah that looks great increase the intensity something like 20 Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna paint this tree to our mountains, something like that. Now after painting those trees, we're gonna create a level sequencer. You can create a level sequencer from here. Add level sequencer, click on save. Now we can add a camera to our scene. We're gonna add this scene camera actor right here. After adding the camera to our scene, right click and snap object to view something like that now let's just go to camera view from here change the perspective to cine camera actor now by selecting the camera change this film back to dslr now also change the focal length if you want something like 17 maybe 
or maybe 19 yeah that looks great i think you can also change the position something like that you can also increase or decrease the aperture i'm gonna make it like four or maybe 3.5 that looks great now these are the same settings that we change in the post process volume so we don't need to change anything right here now let's just add the cine camera actor into our sequencer by dragging and dropping like that and also add this skeleton mesh into our sequencer like that now we're gonna animate this fan right here now you just need to click on animations plus icon right here and select this one right here after adding the first animation you can see it looks like this let's just add the second animation this one right here last one drag and drop like that now after animating this windmill we can also change the frame rate from here 30 to 24 now in the epic game marketplace you can search animal pack and click on free filter right here now you can see this animal variety pack right here this is completely free you can download and add this to your project just click on add to project select the project and add to project now we're gonna import the fox to our scene something like that go to animal variety pack just navigate to the fox folder and click on skeleton mesh drag and drop like that Now to add animations to our fox is really easy. Just drag and drop this fox skeleton mesh into sequencer. Something like that. And now if you don't see the animation tab right here, you can also add the animation track from here. Go to plus icon and animation. And I'm gonna select the go to rest animation right there. Also delete this keyframe like that. Now first, we need to add two animations. So first one is go to rest, and the second one is idle. Look around. Now you can see the animations are working perfectly. Now let's just animate the camera. Add the transform keyframe right here and go to the last frame right here. Right here, add the second keyframe and change the interpolation mode to linear. Something like that. Now the animation is finally done. If you want to add birds, you can also add the birds into your scene. Now the birds in the marketplace aren't that great. If you want the better quality birds, you can also pay bucks and buy the birds pack. Now to add birds to our scene, go to animal variety pack in the crow, select the skeleton mesh and drag and drop this right here. And also drag and drop this crow into our sequencer. In the sequencer, click on animation. And here we can see the fly animation right here. Add this to our sequencer. And increase the animation like that. Now also animate the transform of this bird. Like that. and change the interpolation mode to linear. Finally, you can see the cinematic is ready. Now we need to render it. So first we need to enable the plugin of movie render queue. Now to enable the plugin, go to edit, plugins and type movie render queue. And enable the movie render queue. And also restart the engine. Make sure you save everything. Now let's just open the level sequencer by double clicking it like that 
and go to camera mode like this. Now here we can click on this render icon like that. Now right here you can see the movie render queue. First we need to adjust some settings before rendering it. Click on unsaved config right here and delete the jpeg sequence. I'm gonna add the PNG. You can also add DXR sequence if you want. And I'm gonna also add the anti-aliasing and change the temporal sample count to 64. And also tick this box right here. Override anti-aliasing like that. And in advance, change the warm frames to 120, something like that. Now in the output, we just need to change the output directory right here now everything looks great we just need to render it so these are the basic settings that you need to do before rendering just click on accept and click on render local thanks for watching if you found this tutorial even one person helpful please subscribe and share my channel your support helps me keep creating these great tutorials see you next time take care